Hello everybody and welcome back to my Minecraft survival series. My name is Nergath and in the last episode we worked on this little storage room right here. Got most of the stuff set up and in between episodes I've been going around and putting things in and where I want to put them. Got food stuff here, redstone there, some miscellaneous items there and some other items here and this is going to be ender pearls I just don't have enough where I can put one on the <laughs> item frames there but uh yeah in between episodes i also put in some nether ward on some soul sand there as you can see because in today's episode i'm gonna be working on making an uh, like an alchemy station right here so i'm gonna put it in right here that's gonna be one thing that's gonna go in this floor and then i think i'm also gonna put uh, an enchanting area in this room i think I haven't fully decided yet, but I'm going to be putting in the alchemy station today. But what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to go ahead and cut to a time lapse real quick of me putting in the top floor of this uh, tower here. And I'll be right back with you guys in just a little bit. And welcome back everyone. So hopefully you enjoyed that little time lapse here. I think this area turned out actually pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I haven't decided everything that's going to go into it. <laughs> yeah, the main thing is the bed. <laughs> but I'll figure something else out uh, to put in here. Um, probably later on in the episode I might be putting in like an AFK fish farm up here. Yeah, not necessarily permanently but you know for temporary purposes right now I'll put it in there and use it as a way to get puffer fish which I'll kind of need for this alchemy station and that as as an added, added benefit benefit <laughs> benefit <laughs> uh, I'll be able to get many books which will be really nice to have on my weapons and my gear I think that'd be pretty cool to have but first Let's go ahead and get this alchemy station in. Now, this little alchemy place the station that I'm gonna be putting in, it's not gonna be <laughs> really advanced or anything. It's not gonna be anything mind blowing. It's gonna be a simple get the job done kind of thing. So what I'm gonna start off with here is putting in an infinite water supply. If you're gonna have an alchemy station, you kinda need a reliable place where you can refill your water bottles and I'm putting it here so I can just refill and then right here is where the alchemy station or the uh, brew stand is going to go uh, maybe not there move it one more over yeah if we're not too close to the water but also that's wrong <laughs> And so I can put a uh, hopper on top, which will be pretty important. So next up, I'm just gonna put some temporary blocks here, and then I'm gonna take my droppers. Helps if you, yeah, it's like the right thing. Gonna put all these droppers in. I'm putting them in like this so later on I can actually you know, put stuff inside of them. So what we're going to start off with in the in the short run is just going to be speed potions basically is all I'm going to be able to make. But you know, it's a start. 
And later on we can fill in more items as we need. Let's go ahead and get all these hoppers in. Very nice. And then from here, just put some dirt oak here. Gotta put it all the way down there. Get some more planks. Don't need too many more. Alright. We'll just put it like that to pretty it up. Alright. So the next thing to do would be to put in the buttons. And then I'm going to put item finds underneath here so we can signify what goes in each. And the reason why I'm not putting them on the droppers is, well, it's kind of a pain when you want to go select a dropper to put stuff in it if the item frame's on it sometimes. It's kind of a pain. That's the only reason. So go ahead. Place powder in there. So we get another wart in there. And in here we're going to go ahead and put sugar. And we'll go all the way down here. Put the gunpowder in the last one. And put glowstone in that one, which I need to go get more glowstone. Yeah. I've been getting quite a bit of glowstone, but I've been using my silk touch axe, so yeah, I'm getting the dust. Which isn't a big deal. So I'm going to save that one for fermented spider eyes. Put gas tears in that one. That's going to be another thing I go get more of. And that leaves the rest for, you know, like uh, the puffer fish, uh, golden carrots, golden or uh, glistening melons, rabbit's foot, and I'm sure there's more than I'm missing, but yeah, you get the idea. And if I need to expand it, well, this is an easy enough design where I can do that, no problem. So, let's go ahead, make a batch of the speed potions real quick. And I'm gonna go ahead and make them speed two. Good, let these guys brew up real quick. Alright, and there we go. So we got our speed two potions. Go ahead and make some more speed ones. Good extend the duration of those guys. And I might as well make it slush. So that's that's that in a nutshell. So and this is the other reason why I want to make that AFK fish farm, so I can make puffer fish and well, so I can get puffer fish, so I can make other underwater breathing potions, because yeah, if I ever want to get to <laughs> conquering a an ocean monument. They have an underwater breathing potion. It's kind of nice. So, so what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to go ahead and get stuff ready to make a an AFK fish farm, and I'll be back with you guys in just a little bit. Okay, and welcome back, everyone. So, as you can see, I've kind of already built the AFK fish farm. <laughs> Not the most pretty thing, but uh, as I was building it, I was having to refer back to a tutorial. The, by Exuma Void a little too much so instead of you know walking you through that I just decided to go ahead build it off camera and it's pretty simple you know it's we just got an iron trap door trip trip wire hooks you, know, you got your water your notebox and then a little bit of redstone here that I can adjust the delay if I need to but I shouldn't have to you know one thing that's different from the way he did it to where I'm doing it I'm having to go straight into my uh, drop shaft there for my item elevator. So that's the main difference right there. Other than that, it's exactly the same. So yeah, I'll put a link to the tutorial in the description if you want to go check that out. It's pretty simple to make. So for the fishing rod that I'm using, I got pretty lucky <laughs> with my uh, enchants for the fishing rod that I've enchanted. Yeah. 
it's not the best, but hey, for you know, the starting out on this, it's gonna be good enough. And yeah, to use it, it's pretty simple. Just right click on like the bottom couple of pixels of the iron trap door, and there you go. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to change these guys out to the fish. So I'm going to have my, like my raw fish there, my salmon, then the puffer fish right there. I think that'll work out pretty good. And while I'm here, I'll well switch it out. Obviously that's the only <laughs> raw salmon that I have, so I won't be able to switch that one out just yet, but I can get that one ready. I'm going to switch it out. It's pretty simple. Let's come up here. And remember which one I was going to switch out. And there we go. Got that one all switched out. So for this one, uh, I guess right now I'm just going to put a bucket there. And then we'll change that one out as well. Let's head back down here. Good. Pop that one off. And I'll figure out what I want to do with all this meat that I have already. Yeah. Chances are I'm just going to go ahead and put it you know, elsewhere some other time. So, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go AFK for a little bit. And then I'll be back with you guys in just a little bit to show you what I've got. Alright, and welcome back everyone. So, I've been AFK for probably about... Mm, Half an hour or so. And let's go ahead and check out what I got. So a couple minutes after I started, I went ahead, went and grabbed some fish that I got. So I got those all sorted out. As I expected, I don't have too much fish. Raw fish, I, yeah, that, that's <laughs> expected. <laughs> as far as here... Not too bad, not too bad. 64, power 4. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that works. Got some lily pads. And I got a fishing rod with mending on it. Awesome. And another one with mending. Very nice. Three, Chris Bench. Okay, so overall, not too bad. But I think that's where I'm going to leave it today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. If you're not already, consider subscribing. And you can follow me on Twitter to know the next time I upload. So until next time, guys, have a good one.